We start with England, who face world champions USA tomorrow night at a sold-out Wembley Stadium. The game, however, has been overshadowed by a damning report that concluded emotional abuse and sexual misconduct has been systemic in the top tier of women's football in the United States. For more on this, we can join our reporter Anton Tolui, who's at England's uh, training base. Hi there, Anton. Uh, you have spoken to Serena Vigman and Beth Mead in the last hour. What did they have to say? Yeah, they were both very quick to show their solidarity with what's, well, the awful situation and what's going on in professional soccer in the US. Just a little bit more about this report to put it into, into context. More than 100 players and former players were interviewed, 200 people in all were, were interviewed over the last year in, by, um, by Sally Yates. And it, she's found basically, like you said, systemic abuse, sexual abuse, misconduct, harassment, bullying, all throughout the professional game in the US. Speaking to the US players yesterday, look, they admit they're angry, they're struggling to find joy in football at the moment, they're struggling to settle down and focus on the game. But Serena Wiegmann and Beth Mead very much, very much want to see this stamped out and we're very quick to say that they stand with them. Well, my first reaction is that's horrible, unacceptable. Uh, that's still happening. Um, and feel very, very sorry for all the victims. And it should stop immediately, of course. We all agree on that. I think now this is a problem in the USA. I think it's a worldwide problem still. And it's just really the time now that we all step up and we're just going to stop these things. Whatever abuse it is, it's just horrible and really unacceptable. Yeah, when I found out, I was quite sickened about the situation. I think, again, like Serena said, it's a worldwide problem, but women need to be taken seriously a lot more. Um, very proud of the victims that actually st stood up and set, said it and yeah people need to start doing better the US governing body needs to be doing better worldwide we need to be doing better I wondered whether you could tell us if you've had any chats in the England amongst England players about perhaps making any gesture of solidarity with the players who have spoken up at, and whether if the USA team were to ask you to join them in any sort of show of support whether you'd be open to doing that at Wembley on Friday yeah, we're in contact with the American team and some of the players. Um, we're working on something to show uh, our support for them. So nothing's been finalised yet, but we will be doing something. Uh, now, Anton, Beth Mead suffered a head injury in Arsenal's 1-0 win over Ajax in the Champions League last Wednesday. Match officials denied Arsenal bringing on a, a concussion sub. So they then had to finish with 10 players. How is Beth feeling and, and what did she make of, of the whole situation? Yeah, first up, the good news is Bethany says she's absolutely fine. She's been through the protocols and she's very quick to thank the team at Arsenal for supporting her, but was obviously critical of the entire situation. It's interesting, isn't it? We're talking about player care a lot at the moment. Have we seen in the NFL with Tunga... Uh, with two, a tongue of Violoa, always easy to say, isn't it? The uh, Miami Dolphins quarterback, what he's been through as well. So head injury is a big issue in professional sports right now. And, and Beth Mead, again, sort of was open about the situation she faced and her frustrations. Yeah, obviously I'm fine now. I've done all the protocols. Um, I'm back in training. Obviously at the time, a bit of a scary situation, but I thought the club did amazing with me and did the right thing, took me off the pitch. But unfortunately... Yeah, there wasn't a concussion sub in place through UEFA and again, such a serious injury, I think it's a little bit disappointing that that's not in place at the moment and something that they maybe need to look at.